All right, let's go ahead and get going. My dad is being so mad now. All right, let's go over our left and right. We'll do the song to practice our left and our right because the direction is very important. So here is my left hand. I raise it up high. Here is my right hand. I touch the sky. Left hand, right hand, roll them all around. Right hand, left hand. Awesome. So it's important to know your left and your right, guys, and know where you are going. All right, so we have a couple of things we'll review on today and um, learn. I think we can get off of Zoom pretty early today. We'll see how fast you guys are. All right, so remember we've been learning our shapes. We've been learning the what's called the angle and the, and the sides of a shape. Does anyone remember what it means when I say how many angles? What is an angle in a shape? How do I identify an angle in a shape? Yes? Oh, I was in the back. I was in the back. I was in the back. I was all right, let's see. Okay, so Asa, could you tell me how do I identify an angle? What does it mean when I say angle in a shape? Eight means where two corners meet. Yes, and good. An angle is where two corners meet, where two lines will meet together. That is what we call the angle. So we're going to move on to our next shape. So we've covered circles, squares, triangles already. Does anyone know what this shape here is called? It does look similar to a square, but it's not quite a square because it's longer than a square. So it'll be called something else. Okay, Kendall? Okay. Rectangles. So remember, rectangles are very similar to squares, except they are longer. That's the difference. A square is squared, and a rectangle is a longer square, but it's called a rectangle, okay? So looking at our rectangle, how many angles would I have in my rectangle? How many angles? Four, remember the corners. One, two, three, four. Four angles and how many sides do I have in a rectangle? Meaning how many lines make up the rectangle? Micah? Four, four lines. One, two, three, Four. Okay, so a rectangle has four angles and four sides. Four angles, four sides. There are four corners, four lines create a rectangle. Same thing as a square, too, right? Same exact thing. All right, let's review in between numbers. So I'm starting with 16 and I will end with 19. What two numbers are missing in between 16 and 19? Really? 17 and 17 and 18 and then remember guys count it to make sure that it's right 16 17 18 19 next i have 74 and i'm ending with 77 what two numbers are missing cairo 75 76 awesome okay all right let's move on to story problems so remember we are learning story problems. Not only are we learning how to create a pic, to identify what kind of story problem and to create a picture, but now we are going to create what's called the number sentence. You remember that from yesterday, where we take the numbers in the problem and we either add it or subtract it, depending on what kind of story problem it is. So I have L had six pennies. Mom took three of his pennies. Let's create a picture and write a number sentence to show how many pennies L has remaining. So first thing I'll ask is, is the thumb sum more or some sum went away? Thumb sum went, went away because he had some and he lost some. So let's create our picture to show that this is a sum sum went away. So how many did L start off with? Six. So let's draw six of his pennies. How 
many did mom take? Three. How do I show that mom took three of his pennies? What do I do to show that mom took three of his pennies? You can tell me. X three out. I X out three. So one, two, three. So we took away three. So how many pennies does Al have remaining? So now let's create a number sentence. So again, number sentence is a sentence using numbers. It's creating a math fact, either addition fact or a subtraction fact. In this case, it'll be subtraction because we're losing. So how many did he begin with? So six is our starting number. Did he add plus or minus? Plus. Minus. He lost. Lost. Plus is when we're adding. Minus is when we're subtracting. He lost some. So that's a minus. How many did he lose? Three. And equals how many does he have three. left over? That's our number sentence. Six minus three equals three because Al had six and he lost three. Now he only has three remaining. That is how we create a number sentence. Okay, so you take your numbers that were in your problem. You will either add them or subtract them. It just depends on what kind of problem it is. And that's how you build a number sentence, okay? So uh, you'll see it in your book on Friday. So that's when you're on your Friday's page, which is 25A. That is when you'll run across number sentences. And all next week, we'll start to practice number sentences. But we'll be practicing, okay? So yesterday, I introduced some new facts to you, which were called the doubles facts. The doubles facts are when we are adding the same number two times. So for example, that would be like one plus one, two plus two, three plus three, four plus four. Five plus five. Those were the facts that we covered on yesterday. So what I would like you to do is to get your book. Math? Huh? I mean math. Yes. Yeah, so what other book would I take? All right, get your math book and go to 23A. Lesson work class practice 23A. This is what it looks like. 23A. Look at the top of your page. It tells you what number. 23A. 23A. Your book is backwards. It's going to be very hard to find it that way. I just like your book is backwards. It's backwards. Yeah, this is the front of the book. So always open it from this side. You try to open it from this way, it'll, it'll take like a really long time page. I 23A. I put two pages already. Good morning. Okay, good. Thank you, Asa. 23A. 22B. That is not the correct page. It's 23A. Okay, so I said 23A, so I don't want to hear questions about anything that I didn't say. Thank you. 23A. Can you figure out your books? You have that, you have bot, you have all of them. All right, so we're going to complete number four on our book. In our book, because that's where our doubles facts are, a number four. Okay, so we'll just work on it together. Even though this is your assigned page for the day. All right, so let's go ahead and practice those doubles facts. So remember, doubles facts are numbers that we are adding twice. That's why they're called double. You're adding the same number two times. Let's start with the first one, zero plus zero. I'm on number four. So zero plus zero obviously will be what? Zero. If I have nothing and I'm adding nothing, then I have nothing. 
zero is so plus zero. Zero plus zero is zero. Yes? Mm -hmm. Zero plus zero is zero. Thank you, Cairo, for writing that. And David, thank you so much. All right, next five. Next, the next double spike is one plus one. Raising your hand, guys. Does anyone know what one plus one? I have one, then I'm adding one more. What would my answer be? Asa? Two. Two. One plus one is two. All right, next one, three, I'm sorry, two plus two. So I have two, then I'm adding two more. Two plus two would equal Kindle. Four. Excuse me? Oh, sorry. 10. That's one. I need to put a thing right here so I can keep track of those that have to do that every session. I'm going to learn some self control in here. It's a part of the spirit. Who else is next? Let's see what else I'm going to add. So I'm in second grade. All right, next one three and three. Three plus three. So I have three. I'm adding three more. What is three plus three? Braylene? Six. <coughs> Next one, four and four, what is four plus four more? What will that equal to four and four, Asa? Eight. Eight, four plus four is eight. Eight plus four is eight. And we have our next one, five. We have five, then I have five more. Five plus five would equal seven, 10, good. So those are our first set of double spikes. Remember, guys, we did the song yesterday. Okay, let's start with one plus one, though, because the song does not have zero plus zero. So let's start with one plus one. Let's see. So one plus one equals two. Ooh, two plus two equals four. More. Three plus three equals six. Kicks. Four plus four equals eight. Great, five plus five equals 10. Again, one more time. One plus one equals two. Ooh, two plus two equals four. More, three plus three equals six. Kicks, four plus four equals eight. Great, five plus five equals 10. Again, awesome. So these are your doubles facts. So when I ask you to tell me a doubles fact, these are the facts that you would refer to, okay? All right, so you can go ahead and put your math book up. That is it for math on today. Just a little review, going over some things. Uh, let's move on to our writing lesson today. Okay. You can get out your letters book, Asa. We are on letter R, which is on page 19. Letter R as like a ring. We go through this every single day. Do you like going through the same thing? No. Mm -hmm. no. It seems like it. A rat can. Can you check the One second. Oh my God. Because they're not in there, are you guys? Yeah. All right. So letter R. One second. Let me switch. R. Okay. So today we're learning lowercase letter R. 
Okay. The first thing we do with R is we curve up to our middle dotted line. We come down a little bit. And then it's like we go off a slide, kind of. So it's like you climb up, you sit, and then you go down. That's kind of how I think about R. Because R can be a little. Up, down a little. Yeah. These are good. But yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, you, okay, y'all can begin letter R. Hey, so you can begin. Yes, put your name always and you can begin. Guys, let's go ahead and practice our sentences. So y'all can go to the back of your paper. Okay, so remember this week we have been practicing how to write sentences with proper nouns of a person. What that means is the special first name of someone because it's their first name and because it's special when we run across it in a sentence what do we do to it we capitalize it right we write it with a capital letter so i have two sentences today i'll let you do one on your own but we'll do we'll practice two on today and then you'll complete your own so number one says tony first name gave sue a necklace again tony gave sue a necklace. Who are our people in the sentence? Tony and Sue. So those are proper nouns. So when I write both of their names, how should I write their names? With a what? Capital letter. So go ahead and do number one. Tony and Sue. Tony gave Sue a necklace.
All right. Okay, let me see your first sentence. Okay. All right, looks good. Okay, good, Asa. So when I write this sentence, what should I start with? A capital letter T. And I should have capitalized Sue because that's a girl's name. And I'm finished with my period. Okay, looking good. Number two, my dog's name is Max. Again, my dog's name is Max. What's our proper noun in this sentence? No, what's your proper noun in the sentence? What's the name in the sentence? Max. Max, that's the name of his dog, Max. So go ahead and write this sentence correctly. Make sure when you see Max, you know what to do to Max. Okay, go ahead and write number two. All right, my dog's name is Max. Okay, good, Asa. Okay, we're missing a period. Um, all right, good. So guys, remember, you have to put that period as well. It's great you're capitalizing, but we have to put the period too. That's how we finish the sentence. So my dog's name is Max. We start with the capital M, capital M for Max, and then a period. All right, so number three, you will write your own sentence with someone's name. So it can be your name. It could be someone in your family's name. It could be your friend's name. It could be a name you made up. Just create a sentence with a person's name inside of it. Can we do that? Yes, Asa, yep. You got it, Asa? Yeah, all right. So go ahead and write a sentence with a person's name, a proper noun, name of a person. Yes, that's number three.
Let me see some of those sentences. No, let me just look. Okay, good, Asa, thank you. All right, good. All right, so this is what we will do in our test on tomorrow. You will have to correct some sentences as usual, but you also have to write your own sentence with the person's name, okay? All right, you can go ahead and put your writing away. Let's go into phonics and we'll be done for the morning. Yes, we're going to play outside. Yeah. So how we do my things to do this so good. And then that means no work, no work. I'm gonna tell you that I'm gonna tell you that I'm gonna tell you that I'm all right, let's go ahead and go over chart six for phonics. Yes. All right, let's begin with CK. CK says, and Doug, E says, E, 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 and me. O, 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 O. Y says, I, 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 and fly. A Y says A A A and pray. S T says and stop. P L says pull 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 and plane. F R says fur 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 and frog. T R says chur 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 and train. S H says sh sh and ship. T H says and thick. T H says the 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 and this B L says bull 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 and block C L says pull and clock F L says full 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 and play G L says go 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 and glue. So we introduced one of our new charts, which is chart seven. Let's go over the sounds. B R says burr 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 and bride. DR says jur, 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 and drum. PR says fur, 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 and pray. GR says gur, 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 and grin. SM says sm, 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 and smoke. SC says and scat. SK says and skate. SP says and spade. CR says her, 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 and crab. TW says qua, 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 and twins. SPL says bulls, bulls, bull, and splash. SPR says burst, burst, burr, and sprain. SCR says skr, 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 and scream. SQU says qua, 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 and squeak. SN says sn, 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 and snack. SL says slow, 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 and sleep. STR says stir, 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 and stream. SW says swap, 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 and swim. All right, today we'll move on to our next sound on chart seven, which is SM that says mm, like in smoke. Okay. All right, let's practice SM. 
Okay, so I have S M S M sharp vowel E F. What's the word? Smell. Next one, S M S M long vowel I. Cross out the E. What's the word? Smile. Next, S M S M and C K sharp vowel A. -A. The word is smack. smack. And then last one, S M S M. Sharp vowel U, uh, the word is smug. smug. So that is special sound SM that says mm. All right, let's go ahead and practice some more sounds. Asa, could you tell me my sounds and how to mark my vowel in this word? D R. D R, and how do I mark the E? With a smiley face. Good, what's the word? Dress. Dress. Okay, next one. What's your word? Shell. Shell. Next one, Elijah. Block. Block. Next one, Cairo. Wait. Uh, mm -hmm. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Uh, I think you didn't know that. No, no, no. no. Let's see. Oh, you said it. Okay, word. This next one, David.
Let's just show about eight at uh, actually. Dad. Who? Dad. Yes, shy. Huh. Pass. Okay, next one, Kendall. Okay, Avaya, you have one? Okay. Yes, anger. Okay. Was it work? Good. Seven. Good. Yes, anger. Okay, well, that's fine. It's, it's really fine. Thank you. Uh, one more sound. The beginning. Ours is per. Pray. Good. And last one, Micah. Mm -hmm. One more sound. Good. FL. Yes. The word? Flash. Okay, you can close it. Good. The word is flash. Awesome. All right, let's practice these blends up here and then we'll be done. Yes, I knew it. All right, smile. What's a word I can create from smile? Smile. Smile. Well, smile is with an I. We did that one earlier. So not smile, I smile. 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 Yeah. Oh, that's a do chip mark. Okay, next. Bruh. What's a word I can create from the blend? Bruh. Asa. Brother. Well, yes, but brother has B R O. That's a different special sound. O that says uh. But brother does have that uh sound, but that's a special sound O. So B R U uh bruh bruh. Huh? Not a word. Not quite a word. Bruh. Bruh. Not a word. Wait, brush. Brush. Next, tri. Tri. Blend tri. Trick. Oh, I can trick you. And then last one, that. That was the word I can create from that. That. Awesome. All right. So tomorrow we will have our phonics test three. On tomorrow, so we'll have some blends on there. Also, some vowels will mark and spelling. Okay. All right. Awesome. Asa, good, uh, good, good job on today. I'll see you later on this afternoon. Bye bye.